Praise God. I will bless the Lord at all time. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Amen. My soul shall make a boast of the Lord. Thy humble shall hear of and be glad. Father, I thank you. I bless and I exalt you, Lord. You are great and greatly to be praised. Thank you, Father. Cover me under your blood right now. Let your will be done. Let your Holy Spirit lead and direct. Put your words into my mouth. Oh, God, it's not my will, but it's your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Cover the studio under your blood, Father. Cover Grenada, Carrie, Cupiti, Matnik under your blood. My God, every home is under your blood. Father, we thank you for what you are going to do. You are such great, awesome, mighty God, the promise keeper, the way maker, the miracle worker, the same God yesterday, today, and forever. Our God that never fails. Father, I thank you, Lord. While I decrease, you, God, increase. Have your way right now know as i ask of thee in jesus mighty name amen evangelist joan patterson hallelujah from the new awakening ministry situated in telescope hallelujah to grenada carry cupiti martinic national and international may god continue to bless you abundantly praise the name of jesus hallelujah to God be the glory, great things he has done. God came on earth. The Lord Jesus Christ came on earth and he established a divine church. Amen. He established a dynamic church. Amen. Hallelujah. And the reason he did that, hallelujah, in order to meet our basic human needs, amen, to meet our needs, we all need help, amen, from one another. And that the church is all about. The church is not about a place where you go to show off. One always think that they know more than the other. One always think that they, they want to exalt themselves above one another or look down on one another or put on the best shoes, the best clothes or show off on the car vehicles, whatever you have. The church is not for that. Amen. The church was was built which is a group of people a body of people built by the lord jesus christ amen to walk together to fellowship one with another to be caring one for another that's the purpose of the church amen which was established by the lord jesus christ amen Praise the Lord. So it's not about the good works that you have done. It's not about works. Amen. Praise the Lord. It's all about committed one to another. Are we committed one to another? Or are we fighting for our position? One trying to be better than the other. That don't go in the kingdom of God. Amen. We could do what we want, but we got to be careful that we don't get left out by the things we do and the way we think. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Jesus, we thank you. And we have to continue in steadfast love. Amen. According to the apostles' doctrine and fellowship in the breaking of bread and praying at all times, just as what Jesus came on earth and do the, 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 uh, the apostles follow his command and we also that are alive on earth today we got to obey the same instruction and do as the lord's command amen hallelujah 
And the Lord added to the church daily those who are being saved. According to the book of Acts chapter 2 from verse 42 to 47. Praise the Lord. It was the Lord Jesus Christ that established his church. Amen. Praise the Lord. By getting his people together. Praise the Lord. That we can have fellowship one with another. Praise the Lord. And he didn't build a dead, a dry, and a lukewarm church. Hallelujah. He built a church of people, dynamic people, who are aggressive for the, to do things for the Lord. Aggressively doing things for the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. We got to wake up and to be aggressive for the things of God. Right now, is like everybody complaining what's going on with the church what taking place with the church but what are we doing personally to make a change because it's not about people it's not about the ministers but it's about a personal relationship between we and the lord jesus christ so it makes no sense that we're complaining and we're not doing better because as i said Said, we must have a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. God called his church to be dynamic. Amen. Where is the power? Where is the anointing? Where is going to? What's taking place with the church? Amen. And God is grieved. He's calling back the church to come back to holiness. Amen. We cannot want to live in holiness. Pretend living in holiness and we still cannot deny sin we live in, in the world of sin we live in a sinful life we must able to live and to let go the things that are hindering our spiritual life and to allow holiness to arise within us because holiness starts from inside not from the outward appearance hallelujah that which we have seen and heard, we declare to you whatever the apostles see and they hear and they experience from the Lord Jesus Christ. That's what they declare unto us. Just as what we hear, see and, and, and understand, we must do the same to our children and our children, children. But if we keep lapsing, what are we going to teach our children? If our children cannot see God light within us where are we going what example are we showing our children our grandchildren when jesus came and he showed us good example he laid a proper foundation for us are we really following god's command are we really obeying god's command amen hallelujah the apostles did it and so we must follow follow after the example amen hallelujah we must be able to obey god's instruction hallelujah that you also may have fellowship with us amen and truly our fellowship is with the father now if we don't have the love of god in us and we don't have fellowship with the lord jesus christ because we want to serve him how we want how we feel we go to church when we feel we give him praise when we want if we're not doing it to Jesus, how can we have fellowship with one another? That's the reason why we, there is so much confusion and backbiting among God's people when we should be living a peaceful life and the peace of God should be upon our lives. But there are confusion and conflict because every man fighting for something, my God, which they don't supposed to do, but waiting upon God. We don't want to wait upon God anymore waiting upon god is too much problem so we want to do our own thing we want to fight to reach in the place where god didn't put us and we got to be so careful we got to be called out and be separated by god oh my god hallelujah my god take your place lord are we waiting upon god and trusting god are we following the the, the apostles example amen are we building a relationship 
partnership with the Lord Jesus Christ and obeying his command. My God, what he laid down for us. We must follow the Father with his Son, Jesus Christ. And these things we write to you that your joy may be filled. Where is the joy of God in the churches? You see people entering the church with a long, hard, funny face as though they're coming with all the problems. And when they reach in the church, they yet to open up to God. They sit down there with all the problems. You have to beg some of them to lift their hands and praise the Lord or open their mouth and praise the Lord. Where are we going? Who oh God are we serving? Is our God a dead God? No, our God is not a dead God. He's a resurrected God. And if we got the spirit of God within us, we we got to be resurrected with the power of God upon our lives. Amen. Are we filled with that joy, my God? And yet we're going out of the church with that sad face because we don't open up our heart. We don't open up that door in our heart to receive from God. So we come in dry and cold and we yet we're going out in that same condition. And again, we might want to blame the preacher because the preacher not preaching a good message but it it is up to us to take whatever we are getting amen hallelujah open up the door in our heart and receive the message within if we know that we are living a sinful life and the pastor preach about sin all we need to do is to let go the things that we are doing you're a fornicator a adulterer a backstabber a liar whatever you are you need to let it go because that's the purpose and the power of the word of God stop what you are doing but because we know that the message do convict people but they try to press down the truth and let sin rise within them that's not what God wants we got to let go the things that is a hindrance in our spiritual life and let God move in a miraculous way. The Bible said, if you love me, command somebody time that we start obeying the word of God. Believers, leaders, we got to obey the word of God and do whatever the Lord Jesus Christ commanded us to do. Do the things is not too hard. Amen. Once you are called by God, you must obey the word of God and you will never want to go back and do the things that you used to do anymore anymore you will have a new life in Christ amen you never have no urges to do anything that you had that you used to do before there must be a change in your life amen hallelujah and the world is looking at us the world is asking where is the believers the world is asking where is God's people and where is God if is it God still alive Yes, God is still alive. But what happened to the people of God? Are we standing on the truth? Are we walking in the truth? Are we practicing the truth? We bring the world inside of the church. We kill the church. We listen to the voice of the devil. We obey the devil's voice. And we do our own thing inside of the church. Come on, people. We need to get back in that place place where we belong we need to get back in that place of righteousness and holiness oh hallelujah the church is a community of heart bonded through contact with the Lord Jesus Christ. Do we really have contact with the Lord Jesus Christ anymore? Some of us don't even know when is the last time we hear from God. When we have a heart con connection with God. My God, too much activities, too many other things is taking the Lord's space. Oh God, help us and have mercy upon us. And then we will have contact and fellowship with one another. Now, if we don't know God and we don't do it with God, how can we have it one with another? That's the reason why there are so many ups and downs in the body of Christ. Too much confusion. That is not for the church. That is out for the world who don't know God. Not for the church. The church is supposed to be an example. The church it belongs to the Lord Jesus Christ. We are a body that belongs to the Lord of, of the Lord Jesus Christ. And one once we are obeying the word of God, we got 
to be walking in the truth and the world got to see the power of God within our life. Amen. Come on, somebody. It is time that we arise. Amen. Too many people, some looking at the pastors, some looking at the apostles. Every man try to build a relationship with God. Amen. Begin to open up your heart. Open up the door in your heart and let God take control. See God ask of God. Amen. Pray to him and he will grant you the desire of your heart. Praise the name of Jesus, my God. The Bible clearly say we are to serve one another. Are we serving one another? Too much pride. Too much pride in the church. Too much self-righteousness is all about self right now. Because I want to do this and I don't want to sit down by her and I don't want to talk to her and I dress in better than her and I Oh, command too much ideology. We kill the church. We kill in our spiritual life because of the filthy way we think. It is time that we come out out of this bad attitude and humble ourselves and seek God. As the Bible said, if my people that are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face, I, God, will hear from heaven and I will answer. Oh, God, God is waiting for we as the church to cry out to him and he will turn things around. God is ready to empower this, his people one more time. He's ready to outpour his Holy Spirit upon us. But where are we? Are we ready? Oh my God, help us Lord. We don't want to be here going to church day after day going to church and in the long run, the day of judgment we end up in hell. Oh God, forgive us and help us God to come back in that place where we belong. Lord, help us, God. The book of Galatians 3.15 Forgive as we are forgiven. There is so many hatred and bitterness. And I'm not only talking about outside, but it is inside of God's house just the same way. And we got to stop it. You got some people say they can't forgive that person. My God, it doesn't matter what crime you come commit, how many wicked things you do. God always ready to forgive you for your sins. So who is me and you to say I cannot forgive that person? You know if you cannot forgive that person, you will never get forgiveness from God and you will die with 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 with, with some sickness in in your life my god because of your heart we got to be careful of the things that we confess in our mouth and bear one another burden that is god command my god that is his command if one seek one need help one need support one need financial help one need to go to to um bible school we got to be there to help that is the purpose of the church that is the purpose of the church church what God established a man to be gold but we are full of hypocrisy we only want to preach big words and talk big but in our heart we don't have no kindness in our heart and that is what God wants the heart he searches the heart he knows those that are humble he knows those heart that full of kindness and broken before him God knows no man cannot fool God oh we got to be careful hallelujah Hallelujah. We got to be careful. My God, and we can overcome everything because of the blood of the Lamb, that blood, that blood, that blood, that blood that Jesus shed for us on the cross of Calvary. Hallelujah. We can overcome every situation, every hurdles, everything that comes our way. We can overcome. We don't want to overcome because we like the filthy life that we live in. Amen. But once we are a child of God, we can overcome everything. Oh, that fights against us. Amen. And according to the testimony, they did love their lives to death. My God, we are serving a big God, a God who is able. Hallelujah. Our God is able. I will greatly come and that is what God requires of us. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall exult in the Lord for he clothed me with the garment of salvation. 
come on somebody are you clothed with the garment of salvation can you make a joyful noise and say hallelujah my god had clothed me with the garment of salvation oh come on come on hallelujah praise the lord he has covered me with the robe of righteousness are we covered with the robe of righteousness or are we playing game with time that we begin to search ourselves search ourselves and and according to the word, make sure that we are in the right place with God. We are walking with him. Oh, come on, come on, come on. As a bride, a groom deck himself. Like a priest with a beautiful hardness. And as a bride, adorn herself with jewelry. Amen. All we dare to do is to criticize. We criticize in one way jewel, one the way jewel. My God, we criticize. It is not about the jewel. It is not about the dressing. It is make sure that you obey God's command and your heart is properly clean according to the word of God. You can say, oh God, do unto me according to your word. Is you accept that this, this, this um, promise in your life? Oh, come on, come on, hallelujah. We criticize too much. We watch one another too much. God never said to watch one another. He said to watch him. Focus on the word of God. Keep your eyes on the word of God. Not on mankind. Not on situation. Situation will come our way at all times. But we got to keep our eyes. Come and come and church. Let us wake up. For, the, for as the earth brings forth, it's proud and as the garden causes what the swing in his sprout up and it's sprout up hallelujah so the lord god will cause righteousness come on you saying that we don't serve in a big god we serve in a big god who is able to do anything in our life amen Hallelujah. He will cause righteousness and praise to sprout up before all nations. According to the book of Isaiah 61 verse 10 and 11. God is ready to do mighty things among us. Can somebody go back to God? Go back on their knees and cry out to God as God to forgive you for your sins. My God and turn to God. Amen. Turn to God. God, hallelujah. Praise him. Oh, isn't Isaiah so good? Hallelujah. The word that we that we hear is so rich. The word of God is rich. The word of God is rich and pure. Hallelujah. Come on. Once you hear, you have a desire, a passion, and an urge for God. The word of God becomes so sweet and so pure. Hallelujah. All you want to do is to obey, obey God's instruction. Hallelujah. And do as he commands. The Marjorie will greatly rejoice in the Lord. Not just rejoice greatly. My soul shall exalt in the Lord. Is your soul exalting in exalting the Lord? Are you rejoicing in the Lord? Amen. When you are in the presence of God, are you rejoicing and making a joyful night because of the encounter, the experience that you had with God? Amen. Hallelujah. We serve in a good God. The joy that found in exalting God. Hallelujah. I got a joy within me. Amen. I just always sing that little song with my little grand. I got a joy, 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 joy. Deep tongue in my heart. Deep tongue in my soul. And I cannot bear it. I cannot keep it. I got to let it keep overflowing. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It's just like the living water that is within, within me. Amen. Once we drink of that living water, it will keep bubbling, bubbling from inside. We will never run dry. We will never go cold. Amen. Hallelujah. Because of that living water that is in us. Praise the Lord. And who is the living water? Jesus is the living water. Come on. Let us go back and drink from him. Let us go back and learn more of him. Amen. That that you will never be the same anymore. Never want to be the same anymore. There will be great changes. Oh, because he clothed me with the garment of salvation. My God, I give you thanks. Hallelujah. I am for sure no, because I walk in according to his will. Amen. And I'm not going to allow the devil to 
come and stand in my way. I am not going to allow that wicked enemy to take away my joy. Amen. Because the joy that I have, the world didn't give it to me. No man didn't give it to me. But God has given it to me. Hallelujah. So I will continue to stand and I will decree and declare war against that devil and his angels that fall from heaven and here on earth deceiving every man and woman. It is time that we ask God for the spirit of discernment as God for wisdom. Hallelujah. To know when the enemy is in our home. To cast, to uproot, to plug out and to destroy it and to allow God to consume our spiritual wickedness and wicked works of the enemies that comes our way. Come on somebody. Wake up. Wake up believers. It is time that we wake up. You can't hear anything happening. Wake up and go back to God. Let the fire of God begin to pour out upon us. Hallelujah. Let the power of God begin to be in our life. Oh, let the anointing of God be upon our life. That anointing that can break and destroy every yoke and mountains and feathers. Can break chain. Can move things. Oh God. Hallelujah. We serve in a Let us begin to exalt God. Let us begin to lift up God. Hallelujah. Let us come back in that place where we belong. Hallelujah. Come back in that place because our God is alive and well. Let us just picture ourselves. Hallelujah. That your life today, picture yourself. You are clothed. Hallelujah. Who you put your trust in. You're clothed with the garment of salvation. Hallelujah. That's what you are wearing today. I am wearing the garment of salvation. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I don't know about you, but I am wearing the garment of salvation. Praise the Lord. No matter what man say, no matter what man try, Hallelujah. I am wearing the garment of salvation. That's what I am wearing today. The garment of salvation. He has covered me with the robe of righteousness. Hallelujah. So that means the things that I used to do, the place I used to go, the things I used to say, I have no urge for those things, no desire for those things anymore. I am transformed and my mind has been renewed according to the word of God. Because I ask God and he give it to me. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. That's what I'm wearing today. Like a groom or a bride. Hallelujah. Deck out. Adorned with beauty. Who you are today. Praise the Lord. Our God is sweet. Believers. Believers, let us arise and let us go back in that place of righteousness and holiness. But we cannot have the both of them. We got to let go sin. Let go the fornication. Let go the adultery. Let go the backbiting. Let go the backstabbing. Let go going to them witchcraft workers and them. And trust God. Let go the things that you are doing. Those envy, the jealousy. Let go of those things and them. Let go of sin. And let the righteousness of God overflow you. Come on somebody. Walk in God's holiness. That's God. Re that's what God require of us. He require of us to walk in holiness and to be in fellowship one with another, to be kind one with another, to help one another. Let go of that selfishness. You must know if you are selfish according to the word of God. You must know if you are full of pride according to the word of God. Do some soul searching. Do some soul searching. God is good. I want to tell you that the God that I serve, he is able. He is able. He can fix it all for you. He fixed it all for me. I was 
rotten in sin, but God fixed it all for me and he turned my life around. And I know if he turned my life around, he can do it for you. The God that I serve is a big God. He took me out from many slavery. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. My God is awesome. To God be the glory. Great things he has done to Grenada Caracu and Petit Martinique. May God bless you national and international. Wake up and take heed of the word of God. We are in the last days. You're taking that for granted. We are in the last days and our Jesus is coming soon. I assure you and I and everyone is seeing what is happening around the world and it is written in the scripture that those things will take place at the end and it is happening the chariot is close our jesus is close what are you doing are you getting ready or you still want to continue to live in sin amen god bless you have a wonderful evening in jesus name I'm no longer a slave to fear I am a child of God I'm no longer